morning, friends. I really hope that you are well and encouraged. Here we are again. Auckland is in alert level three for the third time now. Gosh, it feels, it doesn't even feel like 12 months, but it's almost 12 months we've been in this sort of new COVID land. We are so fortunate because there are some countries that are still in lockdown for such a long time. But friends, here we are. What does that mean for us as a worshiping community? Well, first of all, we know that this week was the beginning of Lent, which means tomorrow, uh, Shrove Tuesday, we were going to be having pancakes in the park. We can't do that now. It's canceled. But can you maybe enjoy that at home? Make some pancakes, take some time with your family and make it a fun occasion and also talk about our journey towards the cross uh, through Lent, the 40 days of Lent. It also has implications, friends, as you know, the following day is Ash Wednesday, where we usually have a little service and the imposition of ashes, a little ash cross on the forehead. But again, we're not sure that we can actually, well, we don't think that we can put something on. We actually are not allowed to put something on. But we're also trying to figure out whether or not we can put something online. And that takes a lot of work, so we're just not sure at the moment. So hold on, I'll give you an update tomorrow. While talking about Lent, just to remind you that we've still got seven or so books left of the Lent reading, which starts uh, uh, on Le uh, during Lent. Please do, if you'd like a book, please contact the office and we'll see how we can get a book to you um, during lockdown. We're not sure, but we'll figure something out. Maybe a letterbox drop or something, who knows? But the heavens are open, so here we are, it's raining. Uh, friends, the other thing we just need to bear in mind is uh, what happens with the life of the church also beyond those two events. Uh, we're not sure actually whether or not we'll be able to put on uh, our Friday night youth. It's such a shame because we've just started our youth ministry again with great success. But I think if we're in alert level three and even alert level two, I don't think that we can safely gather. So I think we're going to have to say that our youth program is postponed for the moment. But then Sunday is coming. And what do we do? Well, again, uh, we've made a decision, a, a strategic decision right across the COVID uh, lockdown time that actually until we are in alert level one, it is unsafe for us to worship. So probably the likelihood is, the strong likelihood is that I will be making another online service for us available at 10 o'clock on Sunday. But I'll confirm that during the week with another update and we'll keep these updates going through the week for you. What to do during the lockdown? Well, friends, why don't you spend a little bit of time filling out the diocesan survey? I'm gonna put a little link at the bottom of, the diocesan, of, of this video, which will take you to the diocesan survey. This is just for people who consider themselves to be regular worshiping members of the church. And I would ask you to take the time to do that. You've got no excuse not to do it, so please do. Try and find some time, all the family, each individual person to do one. It'd be so much, so good for us to be able, uh, to, to, be able to do it. Uh, a big thumbs up to David Mitchell, who has already done his Darsons survey. So a little pat on the shoulder for David. Well done, him. Well, friends, uh, just a little closing comment from scripture, if I may. And this is from 1 Thessalonians chapter five, starting at verse 16. And it says this, be joyful always, pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for your life in Christ Jesus. So friends, let's not let this get us down. Let's be positive. Let's continue to pray and be joyful in all circumstances. Well, friends, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. So kia kaha, kia maya, be strong and courageous. God is on our side. Hey, Konira, I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.